Hello and welcome to another episode of Lemur's Corner. I am Lemur and today guys we are going to be finishing up our zoo barn as we've been calling it. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a peek what it looks like. You guys can see I've got some doors on here. I put some nice little uh, wall torches up and on top of it I've got like a little feeding trough in each one. However, I mean, these are not going to be functional feeding troughs. Uh, the feeding troughs I'm going to have functional are going to be on the second floor and we've got kind of a, a basic plan built up here. So we're just going to go ahead and run around here. Uh, and those of you who didn't know, I did have to extend this out in a couple weird ways. But basically, we're going to be doing these four high again on this. However, we're going to be doing smaller rooms because I want these more for uh, small animals, dung beetles, and things of that nature. So the whole plan of this whole thing is going to be to try to make it look nice, yet keep functionality purposes. So uh, basically what's going to end up happening is we're going to go ahead and just start slapping some of these babies in here and make sure they line up nicely. Um, these are going to be what I'm going to call our manufacturing rooms. There's going to be a 3x3 three three room on each side. I'll go ahead and cut these out a little bit so you guys can see them um, actually completed in here. So there we go. There's that one. And then there's this one. There we go. And then we'll just go ahead and place these babies back in here. And then we'll go ahead and finish these off with the door and stuff after uh, later. But basically, this is going to be our little manufacturing room. I have to get this to place properly for some reason. It's placing a little off on this one. Um, let's get that in the place where I want it to. There we go. Wow. So where these are going to be like a little manufacturing rooms. Uh, I'll put like a refrigerating feeding trough. We're going to do one on each corner. It's going to have refrigerating feeding troughs. Uh, collectors for eggs, fertilizers for eggs, and all that kind of fun stuff, and they're going to be on each side, and we're going to have like storage on the other side for stuff, and it's just, just going to be a functional room on each corner uh, is basically what it's going to be, so I'm going to have one over here, and then I'm going to have another one over on this side, uh, so they can kind of counterbalance each other and stuff like that, so let's go ahead and place these down, I'm sure I'm placing them slightly off, like I thought I was, I figured that one was slightly off, but that's the advantages of S+. Plus when we're doing this kind of stuff is it makes life a little bit easier on you and then you get those little placement that just off by here and trash nuts so basically that's what we're going to do I'm going to get these built um, I, I won't fully go into this anymore so I'm just going to go ahead and jump these two pieces down and I'll go ahead and jump on the other side of the building and then I'm going to show you how we're going to do each one of these things so we're going to have uh, pens going across here these pens on the inside, I'm going to have to do them while we do it, but I'm going to make them. It's going to be two three pens, one two pen, and two more three pens, and then actually a third third pen over there. So basically counterfacing this, it's going to be two three pens, so they're going to be like little three pens. So let's go ahead and start building one of them. Uh, however, I am going to note that I am going to be using actually glass for these. Um, I wanted to kind of give it a little bit more of an open view. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and cycle through make sure this thing places properly like that. And then we'll go ahead and place this um, because there's two different levels. So it's going to be a little bit difficult to place, but let's go ahead and get these first couple down. And I can show you guys kind of what these pens are going to end up looking like in general. Um, I actually placed these the wrong way, too. I forgot that I was not going to do it this way. I was actually going to place them backwards um, because these are little manufacturing rooms. So I'm not as worried about placing them the wrong way. We'll just flip those babies real quick just like that. There we go. That's all my plan is here is just to flip these just like that. There we go. They look beautiful. And then kind of make this more of a, a nicer looking pen initially on the side. I might do an extra room on the other far side too. I haven't fully decided on those rooms. But let's get these things to place. Maybe we can get them to place actually properly for 10 seconds. But of course everything's going to be difficult because of all the snap points for the S plus and all that kind of stuff. So there we go. There's another one. And get another one. There we go. So basically, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna place these glasses too high. I haven't figured out if I'm gonna change the way I place them, and then just place roofs or walls up all the way this way on each one of these. So it's just gonna look just like this, and then we'll go ahead grab our little uh, walls right here. Let's go ahead and get them to place up properly here in a second. Come on. There. So we got that to place, and we'll place the next one. Right, like that. So this is what they're going to end up looking like for the threes. However, I'm also going to make like a little ramp structure in here. It's actually going to be kind of cool. We're going to put a ramp, ceiling ramp, and then they're actually going to come over the top, and it's going to kind of give access for them to come out over top on 
uh, every other one. So like, for example, I'll put one over here on this side for where it's got access to come out over top so you can kind of look up at it. And then this one's going to have access over the top too. I think I haven't fully decided if I'm going to do that not yet. But basically we're going to be making three walls just like that all the way down. So let's go ahead and get all these pens built. I'm going to make the decision how I'm going to finish everything off here in a little bit. But overall that's what this is going to kind of look like. And we'll get the, uh, the doors on here too. So we're going to place some double doors down here just to try to make life a little bit easier for myself on this one. So I'm going to tear up this thatch ceiling, place the double door, then replace the thatch ceiling. So you guys are going to see some double doors coming out of this whole thing also. So well, I'll go ahead and finish that up. I'll kind of let you guys see it once it's done. We'll see you guys back here in a minute once I've got these pens kind of up and in place. And then we can start working on the ceiling and all that kind of stuff. So we'll see you guys back here in just a little bit. All right, guys, we're back. So here we are. We've got that first floor done. You guys can see I had all the nice little buildings built here, the little walls, everything ready to go, and the nice little tunnels and stuff. So now we're going to do the ceiling. I'm going to do a nice slope ceiling on top of here. So I've got all these nice little curved pieces you guys see. So um, we're going to end up placing these on here just like this and then getting some nice slopes in there overall. So we're going to have to throw some extra ceilings on here, some extra walls. I think I'm just going to do a double slope and then cap it off so it gives that nice barn look on it. Um, so what we're going to try to do is build our first wall technically. That's what I'm going to try to do here uh, once I get it to snap where I need it to go, which is as easy, it's harder than you think. Uh, I could probably do this from the ground possibly. I'm on top of the RG, let me see if I can swing this baby around. So I'm going to get the slope wall up and then I'm going to start placing it all up there. So I think that's it right there. And then we need, I don't remember which one it is, it's this one. Okay, let's go. So you guys can see that's going to go up there then. And then I'm going to place the slopes on the side of this. I get it to snap into the right position. Oh, I got a bump. I had it. I had it. Oh, so once I get a couple of these down, um, it's going to make life a lot easier because then I can jump up there and actually run the slopes the right way. And then my bird will chill out a little bit. Up, oh, I'll jump. There we go. So we've got one, two, we got a nice spot right here. We can get a couple placements here so I can jump off my bird and hopefully get this best that's done. Nope, missed it. So we'll go ahead and try to land another piece in here somewhere. Sneak through here. Oh, almost had it. Sometimes you guys gotta be faithful in your clicks. So we'll go ahead and face this wall. Sometimes you have to face the wall a little bit. Get it to finagle in there the right way. There we go. So we've got a nice base. So now I can land up here. Hopefully get a nice turn point to where I can jump off the dang eagle. Which, nope, not going to happen. I apologize for the, the delay on this one. I'll show you guys that uh, you could, if, you have, if you're doing this by yourself, you can just fly mod it. However, we're not here. I'm going to have to take up this whole side. I just want to be able to get off my bird. It's really what I'm trying to do here. There we go. Got it. So we're off the bird. Um, we are on the roof, but I have to pull these two down here. I apologize, guys, if you guys hear this thunderstorm in the background. Uh, it's, 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 it's a nice little storm out here. So uh, we're going to go ahead and get these things snapped in here just like this, as you guys can see. And then I'm going to continue to place these roofs across the top. Or as I said, we're going to do it too wide. And then I'm going to be placing some ceilings across the top here. As you guys can see, I'll do that here in a little bit once I get up there. Uh, but to do that, I'm going to have to place, extend these ceilings over here, these walls. So we're going to get these walls extended up just like this so you guys can kind of see. And then we'll place our ceilings across the top like so. We'll run them this way, I think, is what we're going to end up running them. And so I'll just do that, and I'll place them up here, and we don't have to worry about anything else. Bring them to place in the right way. There we go. And then we can just run our ceilings across the top, and we're in good shape. So uh, I'm going to work on that. While I have you guys uh, hang out for a little bit, so I'm going to make this nice top structure. Once we get this top structure built, uh, we'll figure out what we're going to do down here and build down these little angled areas up here and make some cool little spire peaks. And then we'll have the building done uh, other than decorating, which I'll do while we're off camera. I'll go ahead and show you. I also did want to show you guys, I forgot to show you this. I did do the windows. I did them as opaque and I kind of did them as a nice metal glass piece. You can change the design of them in S+, so it's really kind of cool. 
But as I said, uh, I'm going to go ahead and build these things now, try to get these all done. I will see you guys back here in a little bit once I've got this roof done and we start to work on the second roof here. So I'll see you guys here back in a moment. Welcome back, guys. So here we are. We've got the roof done. It looks really nice. Slightly, um, slightly nicely leveled off and everything, as you guys can see. So we've got that nice roof. It's got a really high. I'm going to have to do something up here. Maybe we'll do that for another episode. Some beautification of some of this stuff. I might do like a little alley up there or something. Yeah, I haven't decided yet. But overall, uh, this is what it's going to end up looking like. i got to move a couple ceilings on this with that here in a little bit. But we're going to now go ahead and decide what we're going to do over here. Meaning we are going to figure out how we're going to run this whole kit and caboodle over here. And all this nice, large, weird shaped stuff, I guess, would be the best way to put it. So, uh, in order to do that, we're going to have to figure out a way to place all these different ceilings and stuff. So one thing I do want to do is try to do some stuff like this on this one. So what I think I might end up doing is specifically uh, going to place some flat ceilings on here. We don't need that one. I need the flat ceilings. I forgot that I didn't put those in there, so it's got to jump those babies in there. So you guys can see uh, what the plan is here. So you guys can see we're going to drop some flat ceilings in here. Just jump up and place that baby. Nope, not going to place. So we'll get it to work. Uh, we'll get the ceilings up there. Let's just get these two right here. We can finish the rest of it later. This is really more for uh, being able to get up top. So what we're going to do is place this stuff like this. Place some of these like this. And I think we're just going to build like a nice little triangle based item. Um, so we can place this like this. And then we'll place that into the slip point like that. And then we'll place one in here. Once we get it going. Snap. Maybe. We can pretend we're going to get it. How about that? We'll pretend. There it is. So we get that one in there. And then we'll get this one in there. There we go. And then I'm going to go ahead and just continue to build off these. Um, really, the only way I'm going to be able to do that, though, is if I build a structure, technically, is what I'm going to have to do on the inside of this. So what I'm going to end up doing, uh, just so those of you who have never had to play this game before, um, it's always fun to try to get these to snap in the right way. Um, they don't. They just like to fight. So what you end up doing is you have to tear out this wall, so then you place it, and then you can place the other one right next to it, like this, and then you can jump up, um, even though this is actually misplaced technically, uh, is the best way to put this. So we'll go ahead and tear this one out really quick. Pull that up. There we go. So it's placed. You guys can see how level it is. And then what I can do is place stuff like this. So then I can place that one there. And then you can flush the one up to it. Back here. Hopefully I can get it to snap the right way. Let me get this one to go in just the way it did. And that's where we're going to do that. And then you can place the one in the middle of these two. Once you get it to snap in there, which will take me a couple minutes. And then I'll place the next one in over here on this little corner piece right here so once we get that placed in there nice and level uh, I'll have to get some corner triangle pieces right here to place in to finish off this wall but it'll work just fine so we'll do that we'll get that placed in there and everything so I'm gonna go ahead and get this structure kind of built uh, kind of continue a little bit more just so you guys can kind of see how it's gonna end and stuff so it's gonna end kind of like this and then once I get up there I'm gonna flush these things off and then we're going to go ahead and keep the slopes coming, but we know that this is all triangles the whole way. So we're going to have to get the nice triangle pieces in here, get them nice and flush in and, and place them more flush than anything else. So you guys can kind of see uh, what it's going to look like, but it's going to be weird. So we're going to go ahead and get these done. These triangle pieces up on the roofs are always rough to get done. They always like to fight and be difficult in the way you place them. So you have to kind of cycle through, get the right pieces in play stuff down in a weird way and that's just the way they work so as I said I'll get those done and we'll catch up with you guys here minute once we have both sides of these little triangle pieces done and that's going to be pretty much the end of our roof I'll give you guys a nice little tour of the base or the building and we'll be uh, ready to go so we'll see you guys here in a little bit welcome back everyone so we are done with our little building you guys can see I've got some dinos already in here I thought I'd give us a nice little flying overview of this whole thing so we'll go ahead and get another spin in here but this is the full zoo barn you guys can see we got our little entrances right there our two levels everything on the outside looks very nice you go around the other side it looks great got the nice little level we'll give another spin around here 
so you guys can see the opposite side since they're a little bit different on each side. There you guys go. You can see we got some nice stuff out here. I definitely did put some dimes. You can see my Megalosaurus is over there. But let's go ahead and land and take a look on the inside also. Let's jump off this baby right here and then run back inside. So we'll go ahead and check out the first floor first. As you guys can see, it's just the standard cages. Nice little thing. I'm going to put some name placards down here for what's inside each one. You guys can see everything's on wanders. Our raptors are running around outside. There's our Kento. Hello, Mr. Kento. And then, of course, you've got your little saber tooth back here. You can check them on both sides. The Megalosaurus is sleeping on that side. So let's go ahead and jump outside really quick and check out the upstairs now. So if you guys follow this ramp up, I might do some railings going up here possibly. On each one of these, this is on each side, you've got a nice little generator here and a feeding trough to cover that area. And then we've got an egg grabber right here. And then, of course, we've got the egg incubator. So if we get some fertilized eggs, since everything's going to wander. You know, a little dodo hanging out in there. You guys can see it looks very nice. I'm going to do something up top because it's got a huge loft in here. We'll have to have some fun with maybe some catwalks or something. Just give it a cool look. You guys can see little lemurs hanging out in that little section right there. I think he's on wander. I don't remember exactly. Uh, yes, he is on wander. So we'll just go ahead and pick him up and throw him back on the ground. I did get my scorpion up here. You guys can see uh, they're going to have a very small area to work in. But. That is the full building. We've got little lights over here. We've got some smaller ones. we got some troughs in there for aesthetics, but I think it turned out actually really, really cool. I think it's a, a nice little thing and it goes well with our little whole little structure right here. So let's go ahead and jump out and check it out as we let you guys know. But basically, guys, that's going to do it for this episode. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. If you guys liked the video, go ahead and give us that thumbs up. Let us know you like everything that's going on here. And as always, leave us a comment down below what you guys want to see next what you want to see we build next or tame or whatever we're going to do which most likely it's going to be a lot of taming coming up deadly's been doing it in the background he's been grabbing some other stuff so he's already got a bunch of stuff but we'll add some stuff to our little area right here but as always guys make sure you guys have a fantastic day and we we'll see you on the next episode of lemur's corner